Hey guys, just wanted to give you an uh, update on the AR drone. A few months ago, I did a uh, video that showed the capabilities of the AR drone to do object tracking. And uh, it's pretty cool, the capability. But uh, one of the problems that uh, we had with that version of the software and firmware was that the tracking would only work from the front facing camera. So in order to track it, it had to be something in front of it and at approximately the same height. So that was a problem because when the AR drone is flying, you're trying to track something on the ground, it would automatically try to lower itself to be at the same height. So it was a problem to keep it at the right height. Now, if it was tracking another drone that was flying as well, then that worked a little better. So there, and, and you know, there were some other issues with it but, it, but it was actually pretty cool capability and it would automatically follow an object. Now, since then, um, the company that makes the drone, which is Parrot, they have been working hard on doing upgrades for the drone, and they've come out with several new revisions of firmware. I think the latest one is 1.7.4, but they've added additional capabilities into that, and the software developers that write code for these uh, um, quadcopters have been working as well to take advantage and integrate that code and use it for something useful. So what they've come up with now is object tracking that can use the down facing camera or when it's flying the camera that's looking straight at the ground. And what's cool about the down facing object tracking is the fact that the drone can stay at a certain height and hover over an object and follow that object. It can autonomously follow it. So you don't have to control it. It'll watch the object and if it can see the target it'll stay over the top of that object. So it's pretty cool capabilities with the down facing camera doing the tracking is that now you can put a target on an object on the ground and the AR drone will attempt to hover over the top of it. If that target moves, it will attempt to follow it wherever it moves to. So what I've done is set up a little test using the downward facing camera to do object tracking and see how well it actually works. Shit.
Okay, so that's pretty cool stuff. Um, the object tracking using the downward facing camera actually seems to work quite a bit better as you saw in that video clip and uh, it's pretty cool, it's kind of exciting. Um, however, there's still several challenges before you could really use this as a video system to video RC. Um, among those challenges are, um, it looks like to me there's about a five mile per hour limit. If I go faster than five miles per hour with the object that it's tracking, it loses track and just fades off to a side. Uh, it just doesn't seem to be able to track higher than about five miles per hour, at least that was the uh, experience that I saw. Um, also, it doesn't seem to work very well outside, so if you want to go video, you know, your truck bashing and jumping logs and doing stuff like that, it's not going to work very well because the drone itself has trouble um, handling the ground conditions outside. Um, it works best over concrete, uh, flat surfaces, uh, floors, um, and enclosed environment. It can fly outside just fine. It's just that the tracking capability, when it's looking down, it gets confused by grass and dirt and other objects that might have some of the colors in them that the target uses. So it doesn't work very well for that yet. That's why I did the test that you saw inside. When I tried to do it outside, I couldn't get it to track very well, uh, just on grass. So um, that's also a challenge. Um, and then one of the biggest challenges is this device is very cool and very exciting, but it isn't really a hobby grade device. Um, you know, the entire drone cost about $300 and uh, uh, it just doesn't use hobby grade components. Um, for one thing, you control it with a smartphone, either an iPhone or a Droid. And so uh, that's not a very accurate way to control a device. And, you know, they just, there's the, the components, for what it is, it's very cool because it's marketed as a toy. Uh, but if you're wanting to use it for any kind of serious uh, work as far as doing something like we're talking about filming RC or something like that from the air, it really isn't high enough quality to do what we want it to do. Um, you know, it's, it's somewhat erratic. One time I'll do a test and it'll work perfectly, it'll track great. The next time I do the test, it'll just fly off on its own. Uh, the exact same test, the exact same setup. So, um, you know, one of the reasons why I like the AR drone, and one of the coolest things about it, is that it has an onboard computer running an operating system that can be programmed, but I, I think the quality needs to be higher and uh, the components need to be a little bit better before it'll actually be useful as an aerial video device for uh, RC or, or pretty much anything where it's tracking a target. Um, and so I'm not sure that they're going to get there with the AR drone. Maybe there'll be an AR drone 2, who knows. Uh, but then I, would, I, I didn't think they would get it as good as they've got it right now with the object tracking. So who knows, anything is possible. But in any event, it's pretty exciting, it's pretty cool, and I wanted you guys to take a look at it.